Hawaii quarterback Cole McDonald had an impressive performance against the Army Black Knights this past season. This play was the first play of a new drive after an Army touchdown put Hawaii down by 14 about midway through the fourth quarter and absolutely got to have a drive for Hawaii. Out in the pistol two by two look. Now McDonald has a bad habit of stepping too far towards his throw in the pocket kind of giving himself into pressure and maybe a bit of an elongated release but he does have a lot of tools to work with for the next level a few of those on display on this play as he opens up to the left watch how his eyes and his feet influence the safety to the top of the field opening up his hips but as soon as mcdonald works back towards that seam route uncovering on the other side of the field quickly gets rid of the football and puts it right in the basket for the receiver accelerating under the ball not having to slow up at all because of mcdonald's throw you'll see it from this end zone view he steps to his left too far in the pocket but as soon as he works back towards the middle of the field steps up resets his feet and a nice pure follow through from mcdonald puts it on a dot more than 40 yards down the field to get hawaii back in the football game Hawaii quarterback Cole McDonald showing great anticipation on this throw. A lot of the similar traits that we actually saw out of Nick Foles during the run he had with the Eagles for the Super Bowl victory. Really being able to run the RPO game and see the routes develop before they start to happen. You'll see on this play, the receivers at the top of the screen are going to run this little switch concept. The outside, guy, the outside receiver is going to run a slant. As you see it right now, McDonald did a good job riding down the mesh point, but he's going to have to throw this ball inside of that overhang defender. And he's going to start letting the ball go right now before the break of the wide receiver has even happened. He's going to put it right into the middle of the field and allow for some good yards after the catch for the wide out. Seeing it from the end zone view, you'll see how long McDonald really rides his mesh point out, but also the point of his release. As he starts his release, that outside receiver on the slant route isn't even on the screen yet, right here. And he's going to throw this ball inside of that overhang defender and need to put it right in his chest or lead him out in order to allow for those extra yards after the catch, and he puts it right in between the numbers. Very impressive anticipation and ball placement on that slant route from Cole McDonald.